Welcome to another episode of Reading with Dr. Liz. Today, I am in my office at Mosaic Preparatory Academy, and my friend, Captain Castro, is going to read an amazing book to you. Good morning. Hi. My name is Captain Castro, and I am going to read this fabulous book called The Ship's Captain's Tale, second edition. See? As a ship, as a captain, it's a county adventure. So the, it's, the book is by V.A. Volno, who, who's the author, and it's illustrated. The illustrator is the person who draws in the book. It's Jeff Yesh. So have you ever been on a ship? I've been on a ship, and, I'll, and I'm going to tell you whether this is similar to any of my adventures. So shall we start? Okay, let's start. The Ship's Captain's Tale. Ahoy, mateys! An old ship captain greeted a group of children who had gathered around him on the sandy shore to hear his, his, to hear his story. Gazing toward the waves, he began. Yeah, kids, there's a boy. There's a crab. Early one morning, a huge, happy ship sailed out of the harbor. The sun's ray glistened on the ocean waters. A new day had begun. The ship was the ship was proud to be the queen of the sea. The passengers and the crew were proud of her too. Did you see the ship? Interesting. Now, it's an inanimate object, but why is she referred to as female, her? So, tradition has it that every we, they named the ships females because as a goddess or a mother to protect the crew and everyone who's in the ship. Overheard, seabirds soared on the ship's starboard side, whales spouted on her port side, dolphins jumped with joy, here they are, the big ships sailed quietly over the waves. Everyone on board the Queen of the Sea was happy, except the ship's captain. He had a terrible headache. The captain was feeling unhappy, and he wanted a nap. Going into his cabin, he hung a sign over the doorknob that read, Do not disturb. Have you ever had a headache? I do not want any noise to disrupt my rest, the captain grumbled. After putting on a pair of earplugs, and that is to, to not to hear anything, the skipper lay down on his bunk and fell asleep. While he slept, the ship sailed on until... Earplugs, that's to cover his eyes. Right on schedule at 12 o'clock, the ship's noon, the, the ship's noon whistle sounded. The loud piercing signal continued to blow and blow and blow. Suddenly, a dozen things began to happen at once. Let's see, have you ever heard a ship's whistle? See what happens. One, activity director ended the games. Two, two passengers stood still. Three guitarists quit strumming. Four sailors stopped swabbing. Five waiters dropped trays. Six children paused playing. Seven runners rested. Eight chefs spilled soup. Nine whales ceased spouting. Ten dolphins dove under water. Eleven fish swam away. Twelve birds scattered overhead. The Queen of the Sea was not happy. Was not a happy ship anymore. Everyone on board covered their ears. The noise was unbearable, but nobody knew how to stop it. The sailors did not want to disturb the captain. He needed his rest. What was the crew going to do? What would you do? A half dozen shipmates gathered together. The first mate pushed the buttons. The whistle kept blowing. The second and third mates tightened bolts. The whistle kept blowing. The fourth mate checked wires. The whistle kept blowing. The crew could not stop the whistle's loud noise. They finally agreed it was a problem only the captain could solve.
off. The fifth mate told the sixth mate to go wake up their sleeping skipper, and he did. Before long, the captain arrived. Everywhere he looked, his passengers and crew had their ears covered, frowns on their faces. He pushed, pulled, jiggled, tugged the whistle's lever. The whistle kept blowing. The puzzled skipper stood thinking and moving his head up and down. Like all good captains, he knew everything about the ship. Soon, his head stopped bobbing. He had an idea. The captain walked across the bridge deck to a small cupboard. He opened the door and flipped a tiny switch. The whistle stopped blowing. What is this switch saying? Finally, there was silence. The ship was quiet at last. Everyone on board uncovered their ears with relief. The captain smiled. The noise was gone, and so was his headache. Hooray, he shouted with glee. The passengers and crew were cheering too. The captain was a hero. Throughout the ship, people were smiling and happy. They were all glad their ship had a wise leader. Immediately, a dozen things returned to normal. Now, do you know what the dozen things are going to be? Let's see. Twelve birds returned. Eleven fish swam back. Ten dolphins jumped. Nine whales spouted. Eight chefs cooked. Seven mothers ran. Six children played. Five waiters served food. Four sailors swabbed. Three guitarists strummed. Two passengers strolled. One activity director resumed the games. Once again, everything was peaceful. It had been a busy afternoon full of fun and excitement. Now it was dusk. Do you know what dusk is? See how dark it is? The queen of the sea happily swished over the waves as the sun set. Evening arrived along with the ship's twinkling lights entertainment and merry music. As the day's adventure drew to a close, all the sleepy heads were ready for their cozy beds. The queen of the sea was as quiet as, as could be. The passengers and crew were all quiet too. A huge happy ship sailed away into the night as dancing moonbeams sparkled in the calm ocean waters. The day was done. And so, as the ship, and so was the ship captain's tale. Old Skipper turned to the children, giving them a wink. He said, come back soon for another tale. I'll be counting the days until then, mateys. Happy sailing. This book has a lot of resource guides for parents, teachers, and librarians. So there's the story concept. So what was this book about? Counting, counting numbers, counting numerals, emotions, what makes a hero? A lot of different things. Solving a problem. A lot of connections. So, what was your favorite part of the story? How high can you count? Were you able to count up to, up to 10? And look at this wonderful thing in the back. It says, learning to count in different languages. You know, ships take you to different countries and in different countries, there are different languages. So many people visiting different countries, they enjoy learning about other people's culture and languages. So I speak several languages. I speak English, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're counting to six. I also speak Italian fluently. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei. I speak Spanish, that's my first language. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. But look at these fabulous other languages. So I'm gonna try Chinese, Mandarin. Yi, er, san, su, u, liu. Now I'm gonna try French. Un, deux, trois. Russian, Swahili. I'm going to try one more, Swahili. Moh, 
bras, mi pili, ta tu, ene, ta no, sita. How wonderful! This book also comes with a glossary. A glossary tells you the words and then their meaning. So I'm gonna just point out the bridge. The bridge is where the place where a ship is controlled. Captain, a ship's leader or head officer. Cease means to stop. That's when the noise stopped. It ceased. The crew, the people who work on a ship. The deck, the floor of a ship. On board means carried on and on the ship. The sailors are crew members of a ship. Swab to clean or mop the decks, and that's that's what the sailors were doing. They were swabbing. So this book tells you about the author, and there she is. There's a picture of her. And VA Bolt Boholt, PhD. PhD means she has a doctorate, just like the principal. <laughs> Dr. Caesar. So Dr. Boholt. And then the illustrator, the person who drew all the pictures and illustrated this fabulous book. And he is Jeff Nish. Bon voyage means have a great voyage. And that's it for the ship's captain's tale, a county adventure. Thank you. Wow, Captain Castro, you made me want to go out and become a captain too. That was a great story. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Reading with Dr. Liz. I'll see all of you next time.